Good morning. It's 10.44. <sighs> Took them time. October the 18th, 2024, Friday. It's the two-year anniversary of Yah's creation day, which was at uh, 2 p.m. Now, there is, has become uh, another urgent need to help out Gabriel and Daniel doing their best a little girl called Jane, again in a hospital, having to buy drugs, food. Nothing is free in Uganda. Uh, the total assessment after Gabriel has already spent um, 200 euro that came in uh, the last uh, few days, four days, uh, he, uh, he says that the total assessment now to buy the drugs for the little girl is uh, 545 euro. We'll take a quick look at the messenger, uh, the conversation began several days ago. He didn't know how much it would be uh, required. Jane is in the hospital. This is the assessment of what he's spent so far. And um, yeah, but our total amount required is 108, no, sorry, 1,890,000 Ugandan shillings. So that is 545 euro. He says that um, that's now when it comes to our attention where we need to request for help and support. The family we are supporting come from deep within the village to an extent that they had given up on their own child. It's so sad because it's really hard for a parent to give up, but they did because just travelling to Ginger, which is where the hospital is, was such an expensive budget for them. And they had already got the information that while at hospital, you buy drugs for yourself, and this really made them give up. Just imagine if you can't afford the money for transportation, and what about buying the drugs and staying at the hospital? While buying each and everything would really be a lot more expensive for them. And that's the reason as to why we're asking for help. So going over to the, uh, I, I just sent now uh, another 100 euro. Uh, you can read about Jane's plight, October the 14th. Daniel gave an update and uh, yeah, she does suffer from sickle cell anemia, which is an inherited disease. And if that's not bad enough, then it was actually the, um, she's been suffering from these blisters which are really painful and apparently it came from the drugs that were originally prescribed. So her parents have been battling this and spending everything that they have all, all year to, to get drugs and they were the ones to, it was the mother who told Gabriel, we don't want the same drug, it's, it's what caused the blisters in the first place. Now also Yahweh wants me to make very clear that uh, at the donation site, Yahweh Marshall is not himself personally. It is somebody that he has inspired, a lovely lady. I do know who she is. We've been in communication. And she made clear to me <laughs> very recently. And Yahweh wants to make clear. He is the inspiration, but it is a faithful servant that has been uh, giving as she has been led to. And he thanks everybody uh, who has been inspired to help out with Gabriel, who is going uh, beyond, far and beyond his um, capabilities within his existence in Uganda. Uh, Gabriel and uh, Daniel, I do want to talk to you about getting uh, calcium hypochlorite to you. I'm making a separate video about calcium hypochlorite for now. I uh, just want this to go up as the urgent call. Gabriel thinks what he has uh, will last him till Saturday, that is buying the food, supporting the family, and um, just uh, being in the hospital. They've already bought day one of the drugs needed, but uh, the 545 euro will see the six day uh, course of the drugs needed. So as you are able, I thank everybody for, um, for your helping Gabriel and these children that Yah has inspired others to do so. 
you you can also donate in his name if you want to um, really get Yah's name out there. That was my thought, and he agreed. <laughs> However, whatever you're able to do, we thank you.